You know that sinking feeling when your temperature gauge keeps climbing? Or maybe you've spotted white smoke billowing from your exhaust. Hey drivers, Brian here. Today I'm going to show you something that strikes fear into every driver's heart. How to identify and confirm a blown head gasket. Let's cut through the confusion and get straight to the signs and tests that will tell you for sure. First, let's talk about the warning signs you can see without any special tools. First off, white exhaust smoke. If you notice thick white smoke coming from your tailpipe that has a sweet smell, coolant is likely leaking into your combustion chambers. Perhaps it could be oil contamination. Check your oil dipstick and oil filler cap for a milky tan or off-white residue that looks like a creamy substance, often called the milkshake effect. If the inside of your oil cap is mostly dry, your gasket is likely fine. If you find a milky brownish yellow substance with the thickness of a milkshake, you probably have a gasket leak. Another sign to be aware of is coolant loss. If you're constantly adding coolant with no visible external leaks, that's a major red flag. Now for the confirmation tests that will give you certainty. Let's start with the bubble test. With the engine cold, carefully remove the radiator cap, then start and warm up the engine. Watch for bubbles in the radiator or expansion tank. They're a clear indicator of combustion gases leaking into your cooling system. You might need to rev the engine slightly to make bubbles visible. Be extremely careful with this test, as coolant may shoot out and up if the head gasket is blown. Then we have the combustion leak test, also called the block test. The most effective diagnostic test uses a chemical tool that detects combustion gases in your coolant. With the engine warm and radiator cap removed, the tool draws fumes from the cooling system through a chemical that changes color in the presence of carbon monoxide. The chemical starts blue, but turns yellow when detecting exhaust gases in your coolant, a definitive sign of a blown gasket. And to her effective test is the compression test. If two adjacent cylinders show zero or very low compression, this strongly indicates a blown head gasket between those cylinders. This is especially useful when the gasket has failed between cylinders rather than between a cylinder and coolant passage. Finally, the leak down test. This test pressurizes a cylinder with compressed air to identify where the pressure escapes. Listen for hissing at the oil cap, bubbling in the radiator, or sound from the exhaust. This test can exactly pinpoint where your gasket is failing. What to do next? If you've confirmed a blown head gasket, you have two options, repair or replace. While there are chemical sealers available for minor leaks, a proper fix usually requires removing the cylinder head and installing a new gasket. Remember folks, continuing to drive with a blown head gasket can lead to catastrophic engine damage. The sooner you address it, the better your chances of avoiding a complete engine rebuild. That's it for today, drivers. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more honest automotive advice. I'm Brian, the Honest Mechanic, helping you keep your vehicle running right. See you next time.